Hey everyone, how's it going? Let me play some background music. Uh, hopefully this isn't too loud. Let me put it on its low setting. Okay. Day five of the carnivore diet. So I was just writing in my journal about some of the things I've been noticing while I've been doing this. And so I'm going to read that, read them for you. And here's what I said. It's day five of the carnivore diet and I have stuck with it. I added a bit of cheddar cheese yesterday and today, but largely it's just been beef patties and extra virgin olive oil to use for cooking. I now have some coconut oil I'll be cooking in to add extra fat as well because it's cheaper. <coughs> it's cheaper than the extra virgin olive oil. Um, I know this diet is in the early stages, but it is giving me some hope because I have seen some little changes here and there. The first is that my mood is at a stable seven out of 10, regardless of what is going on or if I feel nervous or any kind of weird sensations in my body or whatever is happening. I'm much more stable mood wise and I'm grateful for that. And I'll expound on that a little bit. I didn't write this, but my mood would go from five to seven, sometimes eight, uh, fluctuating. And it's just been at a seven, literally every day I've been on this diet and I find that interesting. I am also sleeping better, assuming I don't eat much after 5 p.m. If I do, if I do that and have adequate water intake, I can usually sleep five hours and I go to bed around 10.30 to 11 p.m. I can usually sleep around five hours, wake up, and then drink a little water, sleep another two or three hours, and then use the bathroom to urinate. Uh, this is a big change before I was waking up multiple times a night to use the bathroom. And again, this is only if I stop eating around 5 p.m. If I eat a bunch of beef at 8.30 or 9, then my sleep will usually get disrupted still. Um, let's see what else. I also noticed that I'm not sweating as much for the amount of uh, hard work I do in the yoga I'm doing or when I'm in the sauna. I'm still sweating. There's still little pools around me, but there's much less. Uh, a week ago, it was oceans of water around me when I was uh, working out heavily. So it seems to be true that cutting out carbs, sugar, and junk reduces the sweat load and reduces the toxin load that needs to be re released from the body. That's what it seems like anyways. I don't know for sure. I've been about 90 to 95% faithful to the diet. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to stick to just beef and salt. Like that's where I eventually want to get to. And I think by day seven or eight, that's what, I, that's where I'll be. Um, but still like my carbohydrate intake is around a few carbohydrates a day. It's like basically zero. It, it's literally going to be coconut oil and beef and salt. <laughs> and I'm sure there's lots of other things I can do to, to make things taste better. But I added in a little bit of cheese yesterday and today just, just to mix it up. But I can tell that to truly get the right results, I need to stick to just beef and salt. Uh, the last two days, I haven't lost any weight, but I've also eaten significantly more calories of meat. Whereas the first three days I ate around 2,300 calories. The last two days I've eaten around 3,500 calories. So I've just been ravenous and tearing up the meat. My stomach was a little grumbly today and my bowel movements are still pretty watery. That's pretty normal for this diet for most people for the first couple weeks. Uh, I, so there's been improvements in those areas. My joint pain is also minimal. I still feel a little bit of in my knee, but I don't feel it anymore in my finger that was having a problem. That's kind of, un that's kind of interesting. This, this finger right here was having soreness and joint pain on the side, but that's gone. It's like, huh, that's interesting. Uh, so the things that are still happening, I still have some sensitive spots in my gums. I notice it when I floss or use a pick. I am going to get a gum graft at the end of April for the Lower right section of my gums here. 
You can see there's a recession right here. And it's going to be about nine days of hell. I remember the last one I did last year. I, they take a chunk out of the roof of my mouth, sew it with stitches to the gums, and then they do a follow-up like a month or two later to pull on it and lift it up and then stitch it again. And then and after that, after about a couple weeks, you're good. Here's what the gum graft looks on the other side. You can kind of see this thick. There's that thick line of tissue that this side doesn't have, but it's going to get, and it'll be good. It'll cover up some of that recession and give me some bulk to those bottom gums that are, that are just receding. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, my gums are still sensitive. I test them out by flossing and using a pick. So this is a, a gum pick and I'll just lightly go in between all my teeth. My measure of success is if this diet, if, if what Jordan Peterson truly said that this diet cured his gum disease, then I should be able to use this gum pick and have no sensitivity or pain. Uh, there's, there's three spots that are sensitive right now. So we'll see. So that hasn't happened yet. I also still have periodic flashes of light in my vision. They're not as much. They are much more spaced out. It seems like they'll happen once an hour, an hour, or something like that. I was just closing my eyes to test. But they're still there. Um, but I think the biggest benefit so far in the first five days has been a change in my mood to a steady seven. I don't, I don't need my mood. It's awesome when it goes above a seven to an eight or a nine or a 10. I, I like that powerful psycho psychological state, but I would much ra if I had to choose between oscillating between a five and a six, seven and eight versus just staying at a seven, I'll take staying at a seven any day of the week because a five, I feel really dark and depressed. Is there anything else? My energy has been okay. It's a little less right now than it was when I was eating carbohydrates regularly. I was eating potatoes pretty regularly and occasional um, avocado oil, potato chips, and my, my carbohydrate intake was close to 100 grams a day. And now it's a couple, if that. Once the cheese is gone, it'll probably be straight zero. So I can tell my body is transi transitioning to using fat as energy as my fuel source and yeah well we'll just see how it goes let me pull up my i have this notepad document called symptoms let me go through it and see where i'm at with all of these some anxiety i still can get anxiety and i have had moments of anxiety but it's not as intense uh, major depression has lifted for sure. Migrating joint pain is mostly gone. I still have a little bit in my right knee right now. My arthritis in my finger is gone. Poor sleep and waking up with tremors is mostly gone as long as I don't eat after 5 p.m. I am. I don't even have to take any sleep aids anymore, uh, but my sleep's still not perfect. Snoring and sleep apnea, I don't know. I can't say, but it seems like those are getting better because if I can sleep five hours straight, that seems pretty good. Maybe I should video myself at night and see how I do. Fatigue off and on throughout the day is not nearly as bad. My energy level is pretty stable, but it's a little less than when I was on carbohydrates. So when I'm, when I'm trying to work out and I will notice that I just have a little, little less oomph than normal. And that may change as I as my body adjusts to this new fuel source. Fat and ketones apparently is what this is gonna turn into. Um, itching on other areas of my skin as I itch my collarbone there. Those have lessened, the itching has, lessening, has lessened, not gone, but lessened. Getting strange mosquito-like bites has lessened. Strange periodic tingles in my body has lessened. 
floaters and flashing in my vision have lessened. Uh, gum disease is still there. Uh, nerve pain in random spots, not nearly as much. My scores were 6.5 to 7 before this. Now they're at <laughs> like a steady 7 or 7.1. Uh, blood pressure with oxygen was 96 to 98 percent before this. 138 over 78 heart rate and 49 to 54. All of that's about the same. I haven't noticed an increase in oxygen or a decrease in blood pressure overall yet. Taking lots of supplements, 25 or so a day. I have cut out some supplements. I'm at about 20 or so a day now. I'm, I'm just going to slowly let most of my supplements go and see if I need them. If I, if I start feeling super crummy, then I will take the supplements again. But there's this thyroid and adrenal supplement that I just stop and I'm not going to reorder. This will say if I can only take a few supplements a day, that'll save a lot of money. But yeah, that's day five on the carnivore diet. I thought I'd just give these updates and say some things are working. My weight is 223 right now, which is awesome. Like a month ago, I was 235. I started eating lower carbs and lower calorie amounts at that time, but it's only in the last five days of this carnivore diet that I really have put in the discipline to make it happen. So I have a freezer full of Costco grass-fed beef patties, uh, bags of ground beef patties, uh, beef sirloin patties. And I'm not saying this will be how I choose to eat all the time, but it's just very cost effective. It's like, especially the boxes of 30 ground beef patties, it's like a buck for a uh, one third pound patty. It's pretty good. Pretty good price. If I just eat five of those a day, they have 410 calories. I could live on five of those a day. And so that's six. Uh, I could go, I would go through a box in six days, five boxes a month. That's 150 bucks a month that if I had to, I could live on. Pretty incredible to think about that I could live on 150 bucks. A month of food and in fact I could probably cut it down to four patties a day if it was like an emergency and I really just needed to to let lighten my caloric load and then it would be like oh gosh probably like 120 bucks but anyways I'm just kind of rambling now I'll do another update in, a, in another few days and share if any of these things have gotten even better since since this video maybe on day eight or nine we'll see how it goes but that's it for now thanks so much for watching namaste see you in the next video